welcome to today's video. My name is Jessie. If you do not know me yet, I am out of breath from pushing this thing in here. You seem a little full. We're doing my entire physical TBR today. I'm going to show you guys, tell you how many books are on here, and kind of explain what the books are a little bit. I'm not going to go too much into detail because we would be here forever and nobody wants to hang out with me for that long. I know I did one of these videos last year. I don't really remember how many books I had on there, but obviously I have different books this time, so I'm going to show you. But I'm also doing this because if you have not watched my last video, it was my book shopping vlog video. I'm going on a book buying ban for the rest of summer or until like mid September, so I wanted to do a TBR takedown. The first video, I thought it would be perfect to do a physical TBR type thing where I I just show you everything because then you'll know what books I have to read during these next three months. Obviously I'm not going to get through all of these that's pretty crazy but I do just want to try my best to minimize this TBR as much as I can. I'm going to first sort the books. I know that that may seem a little weird but I do want to get organized. I have all of them right here with me but I do just want to sort them into different categories I guess. I'll explain that later as I'm going through them after I sort them. There's a way that I want to get through my TBR. There's kind of books that I want to prioritize first or like types of book book just forget it okay we're gonna get into this because i literally have no idea what i'm doing anymore hope you enjoy welcome to my channel if you have not seen me yet i'm a mess All of my books sorted into my categories that I'm going to explain. I feel like I can do that. Now that I have sorted them, it makes sense to me what I was going to say. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. We're gonna go through them pile by pile. Should I count these first? Should I let you know how many books I have? Let me do that. Let me count them. It's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. I thought I was gonna have a lot. So I guess I have 59 books, but technically 50. And I will get into that once we get further into me explaining these. You will see what I mean by that. First up, going pile by pile. I will show you pile number one. This pile is the rest of my June TBR. So obviously these are the ones that I'm going to prioritize first. First up, we have Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This is a mafia kind of darker romance. Not sure if I'm gonna like this one, but we're just gonna knock this one out of the park. See if I'm into that series. And then I have Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. I've never read a book by this author, so I'm super excited to get to this one. And I have a feeling I'm really gonna like it. I haven't heard too many people talk about it, but I think that it's something that is very intriguing to me, and I think that it will kind of pull on my heartstrings, which I always love in a book. And then I have The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. This is a mystery, kind of little creepy situation going on with a different family, and this girl's stuck in her house, so she's looking out her window, observing this family that I think maybe just moved in or something. I haven't read a mystery in a long time either, so I'm kind of glad that this is on my June TBR. Noctocadia by Carrie Lake. This is my special edition from Lit Haven Boutique. It's beautiful. I'm just getting all of like the gothic fantasy academia vibes from this one and I think it's gonna be really good. And lastly on my June TBR I have A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass. I'm not gonna lie I don't really want to read this book <laughs> but I have to finish the series because it's gonna bother me if I have one book left and I don't finish it. I might not read this in June I may put it off a little longer but this is still on my TBR. I need to finish the series so that is that. That is it for my June TBR. That is pile number one. Moving on to pile number two. These are all of my hardcover books and that's pretty much it. Uh, I just sorted out my hardcovers. I don't really like the feeling of a hardcover in your hand when you read it and I don't necessarily even like buying hardcovers. I'm just not a fan. I do want to kind of just get them off of my TBR, which it's weird that I'm prioritizing my hardcovers, but I just, I don't know. I don't want them on my TBR anymore and I just want to get them right in on my shelves. First up, we have Gallant by V.E. Schwab. This is a YA fantasy. I don't know too much about the plot of this. And then I have Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. This is the author of the Divergent series, which I absolutely loved when I was in like middle school, high school. And I have not read another book by her, so I'm very curious curious to see how this goes. I haven't really heard anything about this book either. I got it for super cheap though. Seven bucks at my grocery store. This is one I really don't know anything about. This is The Cabinet of Dr. Lang. If you are new here and you don't know like what I do other than reading and making videos, I have a small business so I do vendor shows and craft shows and one of the vendor shows that I went to in March of this year, the booth next to me, she was selling book boxes. This one is a mystery. I guess there's a ton of books in this kind of series. It's called uh, The Pendergast series. I guess there's like a lot of different characters that they follow or whatnot. So yeah, I don't know too much about this, but she sold me on it. thought it was really interesting when she was describing it. I have The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. This was actually on my April or my May TBR and I never got to it, but I think this is the book that has been on my TBR the longest, so I really, really need to get to this soon. And I do want to read it really bad. I just think I'm putting it off because it's a hardcover, which is so stupid, but it's just how I work, I guess. And then I have Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. I don't know if this is a YA fantasy or if it's an adult fantasy. It was almost $30, so it's probably an adult fantasy. 
after it got released i literally did not hear or see a single soul talk about this book so i have no idea what people's opinions on this are then we have one for my enemy by olivia blake this book i am kind of a little skeptical to get to okay this is in my hardcover pile but i'm probably not going to get to this during these next few months i'm going to be so honest with you this is Crave by tracy wolf this is the first book i think there's maybe six books i haven't looked too much into this series but this is uh i believe a ya like vampire fantasy kind of romance series but i've heard great things about this series so i just don't necessarily have any intention to pick it up soon and then lastly for my hardcovers i have i will give you the sun by jandy nelson this book i thought i'd read i've had it on my shelves for a very very long time it wasn't even on my tbr cart the last time i reorganized my shelves i saw this book and i was like okay i don't know if i've read that book i went on my goodreads looked this book up and it was not marked as read i think i might have gotten about 20 pages into this book years ago and then I gave up on it. I have not read this book yet so we need to get to this one. Next up in stack three these are books that are more on my priority. These are books that I want to get to before any of these other books. First up I have Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli. I think this was Owl Crate's April's book box if I'm not mistaken. Everybody's talking about this book now so of course I'm like all right it's been sitting on my shelves for some time now i need to get to it and then i have dance of thieves and bow thieves by mary e pearson i read the remnant chronicles trilogy not too long ago and i wanted to read that before these two because it's set in the same world and it's recommended that you read the remnant chronicles before you get to this one i think i can knock these off pretty fast and i just want to get out of that world and just read all the books in that world because it'll be very satisfying then i have a promise of paradox and a dawn okay switch those actually a dawn of onyx comes first and then a promise of paradox this is an adult fantasy romance very very excited to to get to these actually in another duology we have six of crows and crooked kingdom by lee bardugo i also recently read the shadow and bone trilogy which is recommended that you read that before this duology i do kind of wish that i had read this whole grishaverse world when i was younger because i think as an adult now i don't really feel like i'm going to be too into these books or as into these books as i would have been if i were younger i don't want to push these off any longer i just want to get out of this world also just like the dance of these and about these and then i have swift and saddled by lila sage this is the second book in the rebel blue ranch series this is just a very quick cowboy farm romance. Last day for this pile, we have Mixed Signals by BK Borison. This is a summer book, so I really want to get to this. If I can get through my June TBR, I want this one to be one of the first books that I read after I get through my June TBR. This is a lot. I'm like, dang, can I really read most of these books in three months? Like, I read on average 10 books a month, so I think that I can get through quite a bit of these. That's crazy to think that. I don't know. Anyway, pile four. Are we on pile four? Pile four are my standalones. These are books that I'm almost 100% sure are standalones and they don't have a continuation. These next four are Owlcrate editions. This one is The Last Blood Cover by Vanessa Lee. Most of the Owlcrate books I don't necessarily know too much about the plot, but they are all YA fantasies. So I have The Last Blood Cover, To Kill a Shadow by Catherine Quinn, A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saff. This one I believe is more fairy tale esque. This Dark Descent. This was the first Owlcrate book that I ever got. This is by Kaylin Josephson. I really want to read this one because this just seems right up my alley, but. I haven't done it yet. All right, then we have Fairy Tale by Stephen King. Uh, that's all I really know about that one. Babel by R. Kwong. I read the Happy War trilogy by this author. Absolutely loved it. So I'm very excited to get into another book by her. Then we have A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. I bought this book and then I haven't really heard good things about like people that I watch on here. I don't think too many of them have liked this. I think if I push off any of these books, it's going to be this one. If you have read this book and you actually really liked it, please convince me to read it because I don't know. I'm just nervous now that nobody I watch like this book. This one I actually picked up in my book haul in my last video. This is Dreadful by Caitlin Rosakis. This one is a fantasy book though. It seems like it has mystery elements to it and I love that in fantasy or just any book really. Wayward by Amelia Hart. I really want to get to this book too. This is just a literary contemporary fiction novel. I was waiting for this to come out in paperback. It finally did picked it up so now I need to just get to reading it. All the Lonely People by Mike Gale. This was actually on my TBR a couple months ago. Didn't get around to it but I just picked this up when I was in Target one day. I thought it sounded interesting. I feel like I'm either gonna love or hate this one. <laughs> the Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. I also picked this one up recently in my book haul that I just did but this plot seems super intriguing to me. It's about people getting this box on the doorstep when they wake up one morning and they can either find out how long they have left to live or they don't get that information and then everybody's kind of being chaotic about this information. So I think it'll be super fun. I love chaos and 
that is that. Lastly, for this pile, we have Life Unaware by Cole Gibson. I've never heard of this book before. My family just recently had a garage sale though. My sister brought all of her books over and she had this one. I snatched it up and that's it. I think this is YA and I did read the prologue. It's about just this girl in school, but I think it's about bullying and it's got like a lot of mental health representation in it, which I always love. So that's why I kept it. But I think with it being a YA, I don't know if I'm going to love it too much. If I get to this, we'll see. But if you've read this one, let me know because I haven't seen it anywhere or heard anyone talk about it. We're almost there. We're almost done. Now moving on to the next pile. I I have books that are a part of series. Most of these are starting a series and these are the ones that I'm going to push off until the end or I'm probably not going to get to at all during these next three months. And my reasoning for that is because I don't want to read the first book in a series and end up really loving it but not being able to buy the next book. So that's why I'm just going to push them off and be safe so that way if I read one of these and I really want the next book I can be off of my book buying ban and pick it up. First we have Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. I've had this one for a while. I've heard mixed things about this but now the second book is out. I do want to wait till the third book comes out in paperback. I don't even know if the third book is announced yet actually but I heard the second one ends on a crazy cliffhanger. I'm just gonna wait patiently until they come out in paperback. I have Heavenly Bodies by Amani Uryu. This is more of like an astrological fantasy kind of set in space I believe. I think it's a fantasy romance. When I first bought this I wanted to read it right when I bought it. I just I didn't and I kept pushing it off and that's my issue because when I buy books that I really want to read if I don't end up reading them right then I just forget about them and I keep pushing them off. This one is a duology right now. I think there may be another book coming out. I haven't looked up too much on that. I am patiently waiting to get to this one. And then this is actually a completed trilogy that I have, but I just put it in this pile because I don't think I'm going to get to it. I'm not prioritizing it. This is the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy or the Shades of Magic trilogy by V.E. Schwab. These are books that I've wanted to read for a very, very, very long time. I need to get to this trilogy because once again, I'm a pusher offer and a procrastinator. I don't think I'm going to get to this in my TBR takedown process, but we will get to this hopefully by the end of the year. Then I have Collide by Val Cabra. This is the first book in like an interconnected stand alone series I believe. This is a hockey romance. And the second book actually just got announced. I just saw someone like say that they wanted to read it on Goodreads. This one I think I could be fine reading just because it is interconnected standalones. It's not really going to follow the same storyline or plot line. So I may get to this just because it is a romance and it'll be a lighthearted, simple, fun read. But I just wanted to put it in this pile just because it is still a part of a series. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a YA mystery. This is book one. There's a cat hair. Cat hairs are everywhere in my house. I do love me a YA mystery, but I'm also in the middle of the natural series and I want to finish out that YA mystery series before I get into another one. I don't have any of the other books in the natural series on me right now. We're just going to be pushing all of that off. A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. This is a YA fantasy. This is also a YA fantasy. This is The Petrified Flesh by Cornelia Funk. This is part of the Reckless series. I do actually want to read this one really bad. I'm not gonna lie. Why haven't I? You tell me. Why don't I read these books? I have Stay With Me by Nicole Fiorina. I think this is like a new adult romance. I didn't really know this was a part of a series. It says book one right on the front so I could have easily have gotten that information. I just let it slip over my mind. I think there's three books. I don't know. I have them on like my Amazon wish list. I think unless I put another series on my wish list and it's not even a part of this one. I think this was one of the books where I just saw a quote from and I wanted to get it so... I got it. This one I picked up recently too is A Door in the Dark by Scott Rank Rankin. I don't know if this is going to be a trilogy or a longer series but this is super interesting. It's a YA fantasy kind of like magical wizard-esque type vibes. And then we have the Zodiac Academy. <laughs> Guys, someone convinced me to read this one too because I have no idea if I'm going to ever get to this series. I really want to. I've heard it's a bully romance and I'm not too fond of that but I haven't read one of those before. I just feel like I'm going to end up hating the guy, you know, because why, like, why are you going to be that way. This is a very long series. I think there's 12 books. There's a lot of novellas. Help me out. Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. This was actually one of the books on my books that I want to read before the end of 2024. So I do need to get to it this year. This is very floppy. This is just flying around in my hand. Lastly in my series I have Malice by John Gwynn. This is, <laughs> this is a big boy and it's book one. I don't even want to get to this yet. I don't even want to think about it yet. So I'm not going to. You can see that there are two more books here. This is House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath. Crescent City series, first two books. I put these in a separate pile just because I'm not even going to think about these two books for a long time until the third one comes out in paperback. Let me know if this is going to be a trilogy or if it's going to be a longer series. Because I thought it was going to be a trilogy, but now I'm not too sure. But when the third book comes out in paperback, I'll probably start the first one. I think these are going to take me a while to get through. They are very big. I just want a series by Sarah J Mass that I'm in love with because I haven't gotten there yet. And I feel very left out because so many people love her books and her series, but I just haven't. Plot-wise, I think this is the one that I'm most interested in, so I'm really hoping this one does it for me. And that is that. I will just put in a little extra tidbit here. Where are they? I'm trying to look at my viewfinder. Up here? 
these books this is my shadow hunter universe if i'm pointing to the right shelf i actually don't even know i've read the mortal instruments i really love those books i read those in high school i want to reread them i do have as you can see the other three trilogies that take place in the shadow hunter universe i have not read those books yet that's why i said when i had 59 books but technically i only have 50 it's because i'm not going to read those trilogies until i reread the mortal instruments and since i'm doing a tbr takedown i don't want to reread any books just because it won't minimize my tbr because i've already read them so with that being said that is my physical tbr i I'm gonna put them back on my cart in kind of the order that I showed you. I'm gonna leave my June TBR off the cart because I have those just laying in my room. I can't believe these all fit on this cart. But let's put these back on the cart and then we'll finally have an organized TBR cart. I'll have my plan going and I can be ready for my TBR takedown. So let's get into organizing this and I will see you back here in a second. <music> She's organized. I did have some of my Alcrate books that didn't fit because they weren't on them in the first place. And then my Crescent City books are not going to fit on here either. I can't wait to see how many of these I actually get through because I always end up buying more books before I can really minimize this. So it's going to be super interesting to see how many I can actually get through and how small this can end up being. I'm very excited for this TBR takedown series that I have coming up. I hope you guys are excited too. I'll be doing a ton of reading vlogs. I'll try to do like themed reading vlogs. I do want to do one coming up next that I want you guys to pick my TBR. So I think I'm going to pick a couple of these and you guys will vote on which books that you want to see me read in a reading vlog. If you want to stick around and see those, you can go ahead and subscribe so you see all of my videos. With that being said, that is it for my physical TBR. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video, whatever that may be. I hope you have a great day and a great night wherever you are, and I will see you later. Bye.